internet. Well, it's been a uh, funny day really. The uh, paint that was due to arrive yesterday didn't show up. I think it's because um, DHL wouldn't leave it without a signature, but that's fine, you know, so it turned up later today, so I haven't been able to get as much done on my day off as I thought I would be able to uh, get done. Uh, we've got the swing arm and the centre stand uh, painted now. Uh, I've got some more paint in. Um, I've got another tin of back uh, base black uh, left. I've got three more tins of primer. I've got a couple of tins more of lacquer, 2K lacquer coming tomorrow. But I think I'm going to have to order some more black. And that's fine. Um, I think the, the bulky things that are likely to use too much paint because there's not enough going onto the panel are done now. Uh, I've still got the fork legs to do but I haven't even started to prep them yet. Uh, and then there's all the other associated metal work like the headlamp brackets and every other piece of metal, the battery carrier, all that sort of thing that I can uh, uh, that, that, I'll, that I'll need to paint. But that's fine. Still haven't received a response from Custom Cans regarding the red, but uh, I'll follow that up again because I really want to crack on with that. I've got enough primer now, so when I uh, probably tomorrow I'm going to make a style on the tank and stripping the uh, bikini fairing and, and everything else, really getting that ready. Um, I took the frame outside today just because it's really sunny and I thought well it'll help it really cure off really dry hard and I found a couple of dry spots on it where I've missed it underneath the frame so what I've done is um, clear coated on top of those sections and uh, I was a bit worried about it but you know it looks like it's come out okay so uh, hopefully that will be all all right uh, it looks fine now, um, it's touch dry, I've still left it outside, um, so uh, oh. so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll give it another go uh, tomorrow with the uh, base black on uh, some of the other components, but really I want to start making a proper job, uh, you know, prepping the tank. Um, and getting some primer on that. I'm thinking I might even just um, prime it and then uh, put some fuel in it and leave it just for a little bit to make sure that there's absolutely no pinholes in the tank. It's like I said before, I got caught out with that with the Zephyr and uh, I was ever so disappointed because the tank was finished as far as I was concerned. It looked fantastic. It really looked flawless and I put some fuel in it and it started bubbling up around the top of the tank so you can never be too sure. So with that I had to strip it all back down again and um, seal the tank and then paint it again and I still to this day don't think it came out as well the second time round as it did the first so hey ho. But So I'm, I'm going to make sure with the, uh, the Z tank. I think that's about it really for today. It's like I say, the swing arm's done, the centre stand's done, I haven't done the side stand yet. There's still loads of other little components I'm going to have to do, which is why I'll probably order a couple more cans at least of the black. Um, but I've got enough now to start cracking on with the body panel, so uh, yeah, that's, that's where we're at. Uh, Subscribers keep going up, likes keep going up. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you very much for everybody who's watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below. And don't forget to like my videos so I know that I'm doing the right thing. If you've got any comments, please drop them in the comment section below and I will come back to you. Um, thanks very much. I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow because I'm off again tomorrow. So uh, we'll, we'll be doing some more then. Thanks very much, Internet. Bye.